We start our drawing here for the AutoCAD 2007 by press uh, L to draw the, uh, the symbol line. So by pressing L it will show a line, then we press the distance that we want to draw for. After we draw uh, L and for example 100 in distance for line, it will be drawing the first two points for the line. Uh, after this step, if we want to draw the second line, uh, it will be like in horizontal or vertical direction only. So in the next step, if we want to make it in free direction, so we just press F8 to make it in free direction. Then to draw the line, so we just enter greater than the angle that we want to draw for. So we are using here for the second line greater than then we enter uh, the angle that we want to draw for for example we use 30 degree so it will be drawing 30 degree line in a parallel way so side the length of this uh, line after we draw this line we continue to draw another line then we press again f8 so after we press f8 it will be set it again to coordinate x and y it will not be in free direction so we use 37 and uh, length and then we go down to draw the line with the length 62 then we go to the left to draw another line with the length 40 Now also we go down to draw the another line with the distance 25 then we return back to the other side is with 40 length and we go down to complete the shape of this symbol with the 62 so when we go now for the left with the distance uh, 37 now the coordinate it's just only in x and y so we sit back for a free direction uh, not in x and y only so we press F8, then it will be in free direction to draw. For the angle that we used before, it was 30. Now we minus 180 minus 30. So we enter insert the, the angle here, 150, to be in the same direction for the previous angle that we drew. Then after we drew the angle here, we set uh, the distance for the other line, the parallel one with 100. Now to complete this uh, diagram, we just uh, point to the intersection point above. So it will show us uh, a yellow square. So we just close the diagram. Diagram for this one, we go through view and press display. After this, we go through the UCS icon and to press the or, uh, origins. After this, we just see uh, the origin of this diagram. So from each line, we can change the line layers or the color. So with different heights or different elevation, but from a blend layout, we just see it all in the same uh, in the same view. But sometimes it should be changed. So we just press in the layer. So we change every line to a different color. So here we use a different color to use different layer output. After we settle all the things here for the different layer, we just go to linear dimension in the icons here. So we specify the length uh, for each element or for each line to make it uh, shown. We repeat the same for each one, but here we don't use the linear one, we use the align because there is a slope. So we complete the same step for the rest as shown here. As shown here, it's just a simple diagram sketch by using AutoCAD 2007. This diagram shows the elements, the line with the distance and dimension. For drawing blend layout for different faculties, they have to know how to draw the simple things first and how to uh, identify the dimension for each element. To understand the blend layout and to understand the concept of this drawing. 
By the end of this video, we would like to thank Dr. Mohamed Nobli, the lecturer of this subject, and also the participants. Thank you for listening.